Thank you, Cheryl. And we have a couple of other amazing elected officials with us today. Delegate Alonzo Washington from Prince George's County is also here. And Tacoma Park City Councilman Jarrett Smith has also joined us. See if that works, that works better. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so very, very much for the opportunity to be here with you tonight. When I was in the sixth grade, I wanted to try out for the basketball team, but there was only a boys team. So I showed up to practice, and the coach immediately ejected me out of the gym and said he'd never have a woman on his team. I got to talking to my dad about this, and he said, well, let's start a team by the time you get into high school. And we started to advocate. It was the first campaign I really worked on, on trying to get a girls basketball team at Blue Mound High School. And we had to put together a plan to work the school board and get them to vote in favor of it. We had to put together a fundraising plan on how we were going to pay for our uniforms. We had to teach my fellow classmates how to dribble a ball and so that we could really put a team together and uh, field a team and win. And we came along the way as people weren't lining up their votes for support. We found out about this little law called Title IX that required there to be an equal number of sports for boys and girls. Empowered with the protection of that law, Title IX gave us an opportunity to win that vote and to get that team started. Emerge Maryland is for women candidates what Title IX is for female athletes. It is the program that makes our participation and our engagement in this process possible. I want to talk about a theme tonight of the chrysalis. A chrysalis is a transformative cauldron from which new life emerges. Babies turn upside down in the womb before they're born and trees hang heavy with their fruit when it's ripe and ready to pick. And a caterpillar designs a web and creates a chrysalis around it to emerge as a butterfly. These are a metamorphosis, a template for radical change. A chrysalis is both a birthplace and a death place where old forms disintegrate. The chrysalis stage is a necessary precondition for total transformation, where life as we know it is completely overturned, and we have to give up who we think we are to empower who we are becoming. Inaugural Emerge Class, I know you felt like you were hanging upside down when you started this program. How can I do this? Am I really ready? What if they don't like me? What if I lose? How will I raise the money? Can I really knock on that many doors? What if I get attacked? Do I have the right skills? But now you have gone through this program. You have emerged with your butterfly wings, liberated and ready to soar. My favorite author, Marianne Williamson, I'm going to paraphrase one of, her favorite, one of my favorite quotes from her. And that is that our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. We ask ourselves, who am I to be talented and fabulous, gorgeous and amazing? Actually, who are you not to be? We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is inside of us. And when we allow that light to shine, we unconsciously give permission to everyone else to do the same. That is what Emerge is about. We brought together women whose light was shining in various ways, but also a little bit covered up. Had to brush it up a little bit. Let it get out there. Put that fear behind. When we stand up and allow that light to shine, our questions of fear and doubt get replaced with questions of purpose, direction, service, and confidence. What would you do if you knew you could not fail? What new possibilities are incubating in our world? 
What forces do you feel stirring at this threshold of personal change? How will you honor your higher self and learn to listen to it rather than the negative forces around you? The external forces that might tell you you can't do something. When inside of you, you know you can. Listen to your higher self. Women, do this. Run, file your paperwork. Get in office. Take a risk believing in yourself. We need your talents. We need your passion, your dedication, your integrity, your brilliance at the table of public service. Have no fear. Do you think that the caterpillar knew that she would emerge as a butterfly when she began to spin herself into that chrysalis web? Go. Trust. I'd like to end with reading one poem by an author named Elizabeth Page Roberts. It's untitled. B, don't seek. Sit warmly open, lightness in your brow, not questions. Be ready for the quiet when it comes and the creaking of the house's bones and the wind's music playing the notes of the trees. B, don't brood. Don't wait for life to announce itself in capitals and high garb. Be available to its whispers. Know how to listen when it tells its true self and not the lies you've dreamt up. Be able to breathe and let go of your breath. Let go of life as you wish it to be and take in the simplicity, the facts. The sky is, the day is, the sparrow is. B, don't try. Your weariness must have shown you something by now. Stay seated in your soul. Remember the sun is there. Truth and time are there. B, don't seek. You have already found. You already have. You already know. You already are. Emerge 2013 class. You already are. Go do it. God bless you all.